it will learn skills to you. This is one of life energy. We can't use those things yet. But eventually we can use those to increase our hit points or our strength or our weapon skills. So yeah. Try and find those things. Now there's a switch here. We can't use it yet. It's You have to use that much, much later in the game. And eventually when you talk to one of the guys in the town, a King Sorrel will appear uh, near the stone circle. But not yet. Let's sleep in the house uh, until daytime. Hmm. The beds are already used in use, so. Perhaps there's an empty bed here. Yeah, there is. Great. Now I also forgot to pick up some items near this shrine. Which we're going to try and do right now. Fish soup and an apple. Good. Okay, let's uh, let's enter the city of Corinis, and it's actually my favorite area in the entire game. The atmosphere is fantastic. You really have the idea that you're walking through this this living city with people going on about their lives, you know, and 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 doing things and the music is awesome it's just a fantastic fanta yeah it's so so well crafted it's yeah it's i think it's the best city no honestly it's the best city i've ever seen in a game the city of corinne is in gothic 2 and we'll we'll enter it in a second our torch is still burning you see but no matter let's enter the city some herbs for Constantino the alchemist let's get and we can enter now let's talk to this guy halt stranger i am lothar paladin of the king and humble servant of enos your lord our commander lord hagen has entrusted me with the task of explaining to all newcomers the new laws which apply to all inhabitants of the city since people have started simply vanishing all over this town, everyone needs to watch out that they don't suffer the same fate. Don't tell me you didn't know that. I have an important message for the leader of the Paladins. The Honorable Lord Hagen is not receiving anyone. Lord Andre, the commander of the city guard, is responsible for all issues pertaining to the common folk. The townspeople are simply disappearing? Yes, it seems to be more every day. It's most annoying that the militia have still not been able to discover what's behind these strange occurrences. Small wonder that the town's inhabitants are very wary of strangers right now. So don't provoke them when you're in town, understood? That was obvious all along. Where can I find the commander of the city guard? Lord Andre can be found in the barracks at the other... Where can I spend the night here? If you're looking for a place to... The Paladins pay for the, the traveling trip. All right. Explain the first. The Honorable Paladin, Lord Hagen, resides in the Upper Quarter, along with his troops. That is why access to the Upper Quarter is allowed only to honorable citizens. Second, the Town Hall in the Upper Quarter is now the command post of the Paladins. 
Only the paladins themselves and members of the militia have access to it. And third, whoever is accused of a crime must exonerate himself with the commander of the militia. Any questions? How do I become a citizen of the town? Only those with regular jobs will be considered citizens of the town. But don't think that you'll be admitted to Lord Hagen just because you're a citizen of the town. As a citizen, you have access to the upper quarter, nothing more. Only as a member of the militia will you have access to the town hall. Where can I find work? You'll have to apply as an apprentice to one of the masters here in the lower part of the city. As soon as a master accepts you, you are a citizen of the town. However, the other masters must agree to it. If you were thinking about looking for work in the harbor, the scum of the city live there. How do I get... Say, are you... You're not a citizen of this town. The entire area behind the inner gate is all... How do I get accepted? By express command of Lord Hagen. I see. If you want to know more... What do I have to do to get armor like yours? What? You aren't even a member of the militia! You're not even a citizen! How can you even think of being allowed to wear only a few militia soldiers? Those who have performed extraordinary deeds, if you want to be a paladin. Yeah, we're not telling him anything yet. So we won't ever see, well we see, we'll see him again, but only after we've become a citizen. So basically we have to become a citizen of the town first. In order to become a citizen we need a job. So that's, that's the first thing we are going to do. We are going to get a job as soon as possible. Um, then you can get into the upper quarter, but in order to see Lord Hagen and continue the main quest, we have to be accepted into one of the three guilds you can join in the game. Either the Militia, which is uh, like the, yeah, the Paladins, um, the Mercenaries, or the Mages. And I still haven't decided on that one yet. If you guys have a suggestion, you can leave a comment about which guild I should join. But I won't do that anytime soon, because I will just try and... and complete most of the quests um, you know in the world before I will even continue the main story so what I will do is become a citizen because that's handy um, you'll get a couple of new skills and you know but I won't become a, uh, a member of a of a guild right now so we won't be able to actually continue the main quest for quite some time so yeah we are in the city and we can basically choose from a couple of um, jobs we can go to this house of bowmaker deadly arrow bosper there we can skin animals we can sell the skin of those animals we find and make some gold for ourselves um yeah it's a good option it's the option i use most because it'll uh, yeah yield a lot of gold and gold is is actually helpful in this game so we could do that one the other two options are uh the smith um there's a smith here. It's not Brian, but Herod. He can teach you how to forge weapons. And it's a good option, but only if you are going to join the mercenaries. Because otherwise you can't make every sword in the game. And it's basically useless. So if you are going to join the mercenaries, then this is a good option. It won't yield as much gold, but it'll fetch you some nice weapons. And the third option is with this guy, It's uh, he's Constantino the Alchemist, you may have heard uh, of him. And he uh, can sell you potions and recipes, so it's another viable option. Mostly I'll use, I'll, 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 I'll try to become an apprentice of either Bosper or Constantino. I'm not sure which one I'm going to join um, Yeah, this in this walkthrough. We can only choose to join one, so you have to be certain of yourself. Um, so yeah, that's basically the introduction to the city of Corinth. There's also a docks district, which is basically where the scum of the city lives, and a market district, which um, yeah, where we can uh, buy a lot of items. And uh, yeah, that's basically Corinth. So I'll uh, continue this game in the next playthrough. But thanks for watching, and um, you can expect more videos very soon.